needs to be looking over his shoulder because the Note 10 Plus 5G now has 91%. Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video and today is a hugely important one. If you wanna know which of these five can drastically improve the productivity of your day, how long will it take each of these five to charge their juice so that you can get out the door and get on with your day. We've got the Huawei P30 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus versus the OnePlus 7 Pro versus the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G and the current latest from Apple, the iPhone XS Max. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Right, so all of these phones have a completely flat battery, 0%. And what I'm gonna do over the course of an hour and a half, see which of these will charge to full battery capacity of 100% and how long it takes them to do so. And I'm gonna be commentating on this race and getting an update every five minutes as to the progress of the five. And make sure you stay through to the end because there was a surprise ending and one of these five phones made a real go for it towards the end to try and change proceedings. Before we start, I just wanna point out a few extraneous variables, which honestly won't have a massive effect on the results, but I thought for full disclosure, I'd point them out anyway. Number one, all five of these have different battery sizes and the chargers I'm using for the five all have different wattages as well. And I'm only using the chargers that come in the retail box. None of the ones that they charge you extra for. So this is for the everyday average consumer. So the P30 Pro has a battery capacity of 4,200 mAh and the charger that comes with it is Huawei Supercharge, which is 40 watts. The S10 Plus has a 4,100 mAh battery capacity and the charger that's included is 15 watts. The OnePlus 7 Pro has a battery capacity of 4000 mAh and the charger that comes with it is a 30 watts warp charge. On this occasion, I'm actually using the charger from the OnePlus 6T McLaren edition, but it's exactly the same technology. It's just a different color charger. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G has a battery capacity of 4300 mAh and the charger that's included in the retail box is 25 watts. So unfortunately, although it has the ability to charge up to 45 watts, again, the one that's included in the box is 25, and you will have to pay extra for that 45 watt charge. And then the iPhone has a battery capacity of 3,174 mAh, and the charger that's included is five watts. Again, you can improve that by buying alternative higher watt chargers, but retail box, five watts. Now the actual charging plug that I'm using for this test is the standard Apple one that came in the box. The only difference is the cable. It is actually the Powerbeats Pro cable. It is exactly the same. It is lightning. It's just, again, it's a black cable. Another extraneous variable is the display resolution. I've left them all at the max that they can be because I feel that those settings are the ones that the general public would choose on a daily basis. And again, I want this to be kind of as accurate to everyday use as possible. So the P30 Pro is full HD+, the S10+, Plus, the OnePlus 7 Pro, and the Note 10 Plus 5G all have Quad HD Plus displays. And the iPhone's resolution is 2688 by 1242. So the P30 Pro on this occasion has the lowest resolution display. Another tiny extraneous variable is we have different screen timeout minutes. The OnePlus 7 Pro and the iPhone XS Max, you can set both to always stay on. The other three have a maximum timeout of 10 minutes. So in this test, I was actually going through and manually turning the screens back on. It really won't make any difference, but again, I thought I'd let you know. So we've talked too long. Let's get on with the test. And I've got a feeling a few may race out of the blocks early doors, but can they keep that lead? So the phones are in the stalls, on your marks, get set, go. So we're racing through the first five minutes of the test. All of the displays are on auto brightness, but you will notice the iPhone looks a little bit brighter. I did have to manually go and do that again because there was a glitch and even though it was showing auto brightness was on, it was on full brightness. But as you'll see in the rest of the test, it really didn't matter at all. So the first five minutes was up and the battery percentages across the board were as follows. Out in joint first were the Huawei P30 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G, both with 11%. After five minutes, they both had 11%. That is very, very impressive straight out of the blocks. Therefore, in third place was the OnePlus 7 Pro with 9%, the Galaxy S10 Plus with 4% in fourth, and languishing in last place was the iPhone XS Max 
with 3%. Then we scroll forward another five minutes and let's see if any of these are going to then take a lead. And that is indeed exactly what is happening. The P30 Pro now has a 25% battery and therefore in first place, just above the Note 10 Plus 5G, which has 23%. In third place is the OnePlus 7 Pro, again, just 2% below the Note with 21%. Fourth, the S10 Plus with 8%. And again, fifth, the iPhone XS Max with 5%. So this is when I double checked the auto brightness on the iPhone, realized the auto brightness wasn't working properly, redid it, and the brightness dropped. And at about that time, we were at 15 minutes into the test and still, out in front and starting to build up a bit of headway was the Huawei P30 Pro with 38%. So after just 15 minutes, it had nearly 40%. Now up to this point, the Note 10 Plus 5G had been in second place, but we saw a change of order. The OnePlus 7 Pro came steaming through into second place with 32%, the Note with 28%, in fourth, the S10 Plus with 13%, and the iPhone XS Max with 8%. Pretty mind-blowing that after 15 minutes, the P30 Pro had already accumulated an extra 30% charge over the iPhone, which has a far smaller battery. On to the 20th minute mark, and you guessed it, the P30 Pro was still out in front. So the P30 Pro had 46% after 20 minutes. The OnePlus 7 Pro was still in second with 40%. The Note was third with 37%, just 3% lower than the OnePlus 7 Pro, who was 6% lower than the P30 Pro in first. The S10 Plus was quite a long way behind right now. It's kind of looking like it's starting to turn into a three horse race for the title. 16% that device had, and then again in last, it seems to be really difficult, understandably so with the five watt charge for the iPhone to muster any form of speed, just 10% for the Apple product. So we are now at the 25 minute mark and first place still belongs to the P30 Pro, but the OnePlus 7 Pro has closed the gap just a little bit, just 4% now between the two, 53 for the P30 Pro, 49 for the OnePlus 7 Pro, and the Note 10 Plus 5G is starting to drop off a little bit, 41% in third place there, and then just over half as much in fourth place with 21% the S10 Plus with the iPhone on a measly 13%. So we're over half full now on the P30 Pro with under half an hour gone. Very impressive. The question is, can the P30 Pro be caught? Cool? So on to half an hour now, which is a time frame that a lot of the manufacturers actually use in their marketing for their fast chargers. A lot of them say a full day's use in 30 minutes. And while I wouldn't quite class these figures as a full day's use, it's pretty close. So 30 minutes gone, 63% with the P30 Pro. In second place and dropping back a little bit, the OnePlus 7 Pro with 56%. And if you're wondering why they're fluctuating, a lot of these manufacturers create chargers that rapidly charge very, very quickly in that first instance. And then as they get over 50, 60, 70%, they then start to tail off a little bit. And this is where it's gonna get very interesting towards the end. And also factors such as temperature can slow that speed down as well. The longer a phone's on charge, the higher the temperature, it can have an effect. Third place and managing to hit 50% half full the Note 10 Plus 5G. Fourth place, half that figure, 25% the S10 Plus, and still just ticking over roughly around 3% every five minutes with 15% the iPhone XS Max. Now, just when you thought the OnePlus 7 Pro had kind of stumbled and stuttered and maybe fell at a hurdle, it comes racing back, still in second place, but with the gap far closer again, after 35 minutes, the P30 Pro has 68%, the OnePlus 7 Pro has 64%, so just 4% again between the two. The Note 10 Plus 5G looks like its goose might be cooked here in terms of catching those two at the top, but trust me, don't count your chickens just yet. Goose, chickens, see, see what I'm doing here? really bad. But right now at this timestamp, we have 53%
on the Note 10 Plus 5G, 29% on the S10 Plus, and just 18% on the iPhone XS Max. So 40 minutes into the test, the P30 Pro sensed that the OnePlus 7 Pro was gaining over the last furlong or two, and it firmly slapped it back into place with 76%, and the OnePlus 7 Pro with 71, so back to 5% difference between the two. 59% on the Note 10 Plus 5G, 33% on the S10 Plus and just 21% on the iPhone XS Max. Now we jump onto 45 minutes, so three quarters of an hour, roughly when a lot of people will probably be ready to start their day. Maybe they've woken up, they've put it on charge for 45 minutes while they're getting ready, having breakfast, etc., and then they're ready to go out the door to work. This is the sort of figures you should be expecting from these five devices if you have them. 83% for the Huawei P30 Pro, and that, as far as I'm concerned, is a full day's use. You should have no problems getting through the day with that, knowing its battery capacity as well. Likewise, the OnePlus 7 Pro, 78%, still a very good percentage to start your day after 45 minutes. The Note 10 Plus 5G, just below what I would like to start my day with, with 64%, 37% on the S10 Plus. That isn't going to be enough for me in a full day's use and one phone that I certainly wouldn't be carrying out in my pocket knowing that this is going to be enough for the day is the iPhone XS Max with just 24%. That'll be gone probably by lunchtime and then you're going to need to reach for your charge. Now the finish line is in sight, the three that are racing for that first spot can almost taste that final furlong. The Note 10 Plus 5G of course is hoping that the front two runners just start to tire Perhaps one of them has a little fall and then they'll be straight back in and gunning for that top spot. And that might just happen. We'll let, Stay with me. So 50 minutes on the clock, 88% on the P30 Pro, 83% on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So still the P30 Pro has managed to hold off the OnePlus 7 Pro by that 5%. That extra 10% wattage on that charge is really kicked in. The Note 10 Plus 5G has a battery capacity now of 68%, so really needs the front two to have a drop off. 41% on the S10 Plus and just 27% on the iPhone XS Max. It's pretty safe to say at this point in time, the iPhone XS Max will not win this race and likewise the S10 Plus as well. So it definitely has turned into a three horse race. So 55 minutes in this race now and the P30 Pro has jumped into the final 10%. We have 92% and it is closing in on first place, the gold medal and all of the plaudits. But the OnePlus 7 Pro is not giving up just yet. It is clinging on 5% every five minutes behind with 87%. The Note 10 Plus 5G has 71%, so still a fair way behind now the front two runners and needs a mere miracle right now. In fourth place, the S10 Plus has 45% battery. It looks like it's gonna beat the iPhone after the hour and a half mark, but it looks like that's the only prize that it's gonna be going away with. The iPhone, of course, just ticking along, sort of just 3% every five minutes with 30% now. Now, can the P30 Pro hold off the charge from the OnePlus 7 Pro? 95% the P30 Pro, just 5% away from the title. But in second place, the OnePlus 7 Pro has jumped a percent. It now has 91%, just 4% behind. Could there be a late fatigue from the P30 Pro as it approaches the 100% mark? Can the OnePlus 7 Pro sneak in and steal the show? In third place, the Note 10 Plus 5G on 76%, and it looks like it will not be claiming first place, but wait till we see what happens at the end because there is some new technology in the note which might just cause a shock upset. S10 Plus, 49%, iPhone XS Max, 33 Five minutes on and we have a slight wobble from the Huawei P30 Pro. It's gone up just 2% to 97% and in second place and still just 4% behind the OnePlus 7 Pro with 93%. If the P30 Pro continues to wobble, the OnePlus 7 Pro could steal the show and win the title. The gold, all of the plaudits. But after 65%, five minutes after the hour, the P30 Pro is hanging on for dear life to that first spot. In third place, and we mentioned don't write off the Note 10 Plus 5G. And there's a good reason for that because it's jumped to 84%. So it's gone up 8% 
in five minutes. The other two that have been out in the front right from the start are really starting to tire and the note is closing the gap. In fourth place with 53%, the S10 Plus is not gonna take first, second or third, but it looks like with just 36% on the iPhone XS Max, it will be able to hold onto a fourth spot. P30 Pro, can you hold out? We are now at an hour and 10 minutes into the charge from 0% and the P30 Pro has 99%. It just needs 1% to win the day. But the OnePlus 7 Pro has jumped another percent in its late charge. It's now just 3% behind with 96%. But just when you think the OnePlus 7 Pro is angling for first place, it needs to be looking over his shoulder because the Note 10 Plus 5G now has 91% and has closed it to just 5%. Can the note now have a late charge for second place or even first if the p30 pro flounders on 99 percent and has a fall 58 percent for the s10 plus and 39 percent for the iphone 10s max no changes there but really we are looking right at the top the huawei p30 pro which has led from the front from the 10th minute in this test just manages to see off the late charge from the OnePlus 7 Pro to take first spot. It has gold in 111 minutes. It has 100% battery. And the OnePlus 7 Pro at that moment in time could only muster 98%. It was a valiant effort from the OnePlus 7 Pro and almost picked the P30 Pro right at the death as the Huawei device was starting to tire but now the OnePlus 7 Pro is tiring itself and it has to look over its shoulder because the Note 10 Plus 5G has managed to get within 4%. It was well out behind in third just 10-15 minutes ago and is gunning for second place. Will the OnePlus 7 Pro now be able to hang on to that second spot? 61% for the S10 Plus and 40% for the iPhone XS Max. And 80 minutes on the clock, we are just 10 minutes from the final whistle here with the race being all over for everyone involved. The OnePlus 7 Pro surely has wrapped up second spot in this race, but no, it's on 99%, it can't tick over. We've been waiting for minutes for it to hit that 100% mark and the Note 10 Plus 5G has now moved to within 3%, I'm losing my voice, 3% now between the Note 10 Plus 5G and the OnePlus 7 Pro, 96% for the Note device. And could it possibly be there's a late glitch, a late freeze, a late fatigue for the OnePlus 7 Pro in this charge test, which keeps it at 99% and enables the Samsung device to steal the show for second place. Well, unfortunately, as valiant as that combat was, and really, really impressive, I might add, with a larger battery cell as well, remember, on that Note device, and with the 25 watt fast charge, of course, compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro's 30. The OnePlus 7 Pro finally ticks over the 100% mark at one hour and 21 minutes and 25 seconds. The Note 10 Plus 5G has 98%, 68% for the S10 Plus and 45% for the iPhone XS Max. And finally, four minutes before the deadline, the Note 10 Plus 5G ticks into that 100% to claim the bronze medal and a really, really impressive showing, again, considering the size, it is the largest battery cell, leaving the S10 Plus and the iPhone XS Max languishing behind the front three. But after one hour and 30 minutes, the race is complete and there are three phones that are fully charged and two phones that didn't quite make the grade. So there you have it, I am exhausted. In fifth place, we have the iPhone XS Max, which finished after an hour and a half on 47%. 71% after an hour and a half for the S10 Plus and the Note 10 Plus 5G managed to get to 100% after about an hour and 26 minutes. The OnePlus 7 Pro in second place, silver medal, managed to get to 100% in an hour and 21 minutes. And then in first place, a valiant effort. It led from the front after just 10 minutes, right the way through the Huawei P30 Pro after an hour and 11 minutes hit that 100% mark. And there you have it. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more stuff like this, then let me know. I did enjoy making it, it took a while, so yeah. 
a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video. Now on to today's video sponsor, Squarespace. They are a great online platform in order for you to build your online presence. Whether you're just getting started or you're an established brand, then they provide all the tricks of the trade. They have ready-built template designs for you to create your own website. And one great thing about these templates is that they're made with modern browser and mobile apps in mind. One particularly great feature that I like is that Squarespace actually allows you to link your various social media accounts to your website so that you can post simultaneously to all accounts and you don't have to do each one individually. Also you can use their mobile app which means managing your blogs and your comments etc is really really easy. There is a completely free trial with no credit cards required and if you like what you see there's also a 10% discount code in the video description below squarespace.com forward slash ASBYT, free trial and a 10% off your first purchase. All in all, if you're looking for a website builder, then Squarespace is a fantastic option. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video on anything tech, pretty much daily content here on YouTube. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to go for a cold shower now because I'm absolutely shattered. Say so it's TP Peace out.